guys, welcome to part two of my um, circle shadow box easel card tutorial. So this is the decorating um, part where I'm going to be embellishing this fun card. So if you watched part one, you'd watch me um, construct the base of this um, shadow box easel card. And now we are going to make it all nice and neat looking and get rid of any you know, imperfections and stuff by embellishing it. So, um, of course, as you can see, this beautiful paper line I am using is the Little Darlings Graphic 45, and this is the 8x8 stack I'm using. Um, so I've pulled out a few pieces that I want to use for matting the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Um, mat the inside of the card as well as the back, because I always love to finish off with um, some nice layering of, of paper on the back. And um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put a piece up here yet, so we'll kind of go with the flow and see what I come up with and what I decide to do. So um, the first thing we're going to want to do, this is a scrap from when I cut out this portion, you guys, if you watch part one, I kept this part, okay? Always keep your circles because, of course, there's lots of circles happening in this card. So I've kept it and I'm going to actually use the back um, portion on the back of the card. So first thing I'm going to do is cut some circles out of these. So I just went ahead and distressed all of the edges of the um, easel card, for the most part, minus the fold, of course. And, um, and then I distressed the circles here that I made for layering. And I'm going to adhere the pink one down first. And I did cut off the top part slightly so that it will um, match up nicely with this um, base portion of the easel card. And I'm just going to use a wet glue. So here I'm just showing me matting the circles on the inside of the card. And this one here, um, it was sort of an afterthought and you're going to see me here. <laughs> I, I trim off the top, I should have done that ahead of time, but um, just trim the top off to make it a little bit more even with the flat edge. And then I'm going to do the same to the back. And I'm just using Martha Stewart regular craft glue. You guys can use ATG or whatever you like. So here I'm just going to line the inner portion of the shadow box with just some braid trim I have in my stash. It just happens to be the perfect width to cover the inside. And I'm putting my seam, like the ends, where I know there's going to be embellishments, um, just so it hides where they connect. And here I'm just taking some trim and it's a little bit too vibrant so I'm just toning it down with some water and white acrylic paint. And I'm just dabbing it with a foam brush and then spraying some water in it to just blend, blend it all up, make it even. And it kind of takes away the shine from the satin which is sort of nice. I kind of like the way it looks. Here I'm just choosing some stickers from the Graphic 45 Little Darling sticker sheet. And I'm going to take the banner one here and put it on some blue cardstock. And I'm just going to cut it out and just uh, make edges or make a little triangles on the edges for uh, a little banner and then I'm going to curl it with my finger distress it up a little bit with the Tim Holtz distress tool and I'm going to put this one here I'm taking off on some medium weight chipboard and I just get my chipboard from Joanne online it's super cheap you guys it's a good quality too it's definitely hard to fussy cut <laughs> this isn't very fussy of a cutting but it's it's difficult because the chipboard's quite thick so I'm just kind of going over roughly with my um, Tim Holtz scissors here because they cut really well through the chipboard and then I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz sander here and um, just sand up the edges so that it's sort of even and nice looking and then I'm going to go over with my Tim Holtz um, scissors here and I'm just going to distress the edges So here I'm just going to fussy cut an image out of the paper here that I'm going to want to put on the inside of my card. I'm just going to distress it up on the edges as well and then I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of a crinkle look.
And here I'm taking some amazing trim that I want from a thing for bling and it's got these gorgeous hearts on it and it totally looks like a banner so I'm taking stickers from the sticker sheet from Graphic 45 Little Darlings and I'm spelling out baby and I'm just hot gluing them onto the little hearts and I've just cut off the corners of each of the little squares of the stickers. And then it was sort of an afterthought, I wanted to tone down the white of the trim just a little bit, so I'm using Lindy's Stamp Gang um, Clam Bake Beige and some water just to sort of dilute a little bit so it's not so, um, so strong of a color. And then um, I don't show it on camera, but I did go over it with a little bit of white acrylic paint to give it a bit more white on it because um, I did want a little bit of a two-tone look to it. Here I'm just gluing that trim that I had... Uh, toned down with white acrylic paint along the edge and it covers up those seams along the spine of this card really nicely. It's the perfect width again for it. And again I'm making the ends, actually the ends join quite nicely with this trim, um, but I am placing the ends where they meet where I know that there will be embellishments. Here I'm just taking that um, sticker that I had cut out and I'm putting some um, foam pop-ups on it and then I'm just going to put it in the middle there just to give it a little bit of dimension. Now I'm just sort of placing things on my card to sort of see where I want to glue them down and I'm deciding here I'm going to want to take out, um, I've got some random chipboard pieces that I've cut and I keep the negatives so I took a circle one that fit perfectly on the sticker and put it on there just punching the buttonholes in there and then I'm going to just I took a piece of burlap that I had um, some burlap string and then that's what I'm going to be using here to um, tie the bow in a second I'm just putting white acrylic paint along the edges of the chipboard again I'm just kind of getting an idea where I want to place things that's a beautiful I Am Roses scrapbook flower. And now I'm just, this is the burlap string I was talking about. So I'm just doubling it up to make a double bow. Now I'm just gluing some, some of the pieces down. Another I Am Roses flower I'm putting in. I think this is the R3 in a cream color. And I'm just um, painting the stem with white acrylic paint and then I'm going to twirl it around a paintbrush end to make the little spiral. And I'm just taking some cheesecloth. I love using cheesecloth. It just sort of gives it a very soft, elegant sort of a touch to projects, so I really love using it. So I'm just kind of placing it on here, trying to figure out whereabouts I want it. and. So I like to cut off various pieces so that I have a lot of ends poking out. And then I usually just take my fingers and kind of fray them a little bit afterwards. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue because it can really seep through it and you don't want a whole lot showing. So I just got to be careful with the hot glue. Just gluing on some more I Am Roses. I'm just going to add a little bit more cheesecloth to the top here. Now I'm just going to spray an R21 I Am Rose flower that's just white and I'm going to spray it with the Seagrass Green Lindy's Stamp Gang and it just goes perfect with this color, um, with this paper collection. Now I'm just taking the leaves off. I often take the leaves off of the flowers. And I decided afterwards I wanted a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I'm just going to spray it with the scintillating silver Lindy's Stamp Gang. It's just a neutral, gives it just a nice, very light silver shimmer to your projects. So 
So here um, I'm just gluing the banner onto my nonstick craft sheet from Ranger. I love using this sheet. I always do my work on it and it, the, it'll peel off easily afterwards but it just helps to keep it stationary so I can put the flat back pearls on it. Now I've decided I'm going to add some of the clear acrylic wheat sprays just to the side of these flowers here just to accent it a little bit. And I'm just going to fussy cut another image. Just distressing it out with the Tim Holtz Distress Tool, giving it a little bit of a curl to it. and I'm just going to tuck it in those flowers up at the top. Here, I didn't show it, but I've already dyed that seam binding with the seagrass green and crinkled it up and heat set it. Now I'm just doing a double bow and cutting the edges, fraying them up a little bit with my fingers and just sort of figuring out where I'm going to place it. I'm just taking off one of the pearls there because it was kind of in the way. Just fraying up the edges with my fingers and then I'm going to dab it with a bit of uh, white acrylic paint. And here's sort of an afterthought. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of the cheesecloth to little bits and pieces of this little cluster I've got going on here. It's usually a lot easier to, you know, add it before you adhere the big pieces down, but I just use a little needle to kind of guide it in where I want it to go and work very quickly <laughs> with the hot glue before it sets. So now I just wanted to add a sticker up at the top there just to add a little bit more blue to it. And um, the space I had cut originally was a little bit of a bigger gap and I wasn't really liking it. So <laughs> I wanted to put a sticker. So I just attached the sticker onto cardstock, distressed the edges, and just glued it up there. It says treasure. And I'm just taking some glossy accents and dabbing a bit in the center of these Martha Stewart punched butterflies and adding some flat back pearls. And this is a gorgeous center. That little bag of centers is from Joy. She sent in a rack. These are so beautiful. I love adding these to centers of flowers or bows. So that one went perfectly with this bow. I'm just going to glue that onto the side there. Just figuring out exactly where I want it. Now I'm just sort of placing, I'm gluing the um, ends to be where I want them to sort of flow as the bow ends fall down on the side of the card. And then I'm going to sort of glue them down onto the card too so they stay where I want them to stay. And then I'm going to add these butterflies now that the glossy accent is dry. I'm just going to add the butterflies to the spots where I want them. Here I'm just putting some glossy accents down and adhering a safety pin. I just want a little bit of metal poking out. And here is where I'm just sort of attaching some more of the cheesecloth in there and then a butterfly that I punched, added another flat back pearl to it. And I'm just taking some jump rings here and I'm going to be adding them to these little pear charms. And I'm just going to put these little pear charms on a safety pin. I'm going to dangle them down from the, the banner that you're going to see here. And adding just another butterfly to sort of put at the end of the banner. And then I'm just taking some white acrylic paint and I'm just touching the little charms with it just to tone down some of the black that shows on the charms. And this is where I'm just sort of adhering the ends to the bow down a little bit so they don't move around. And this is just some final touches I'm putting on the back, just my label. And that pretty much finishes up the card. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye now.